happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you've had a great Easter weekend. Today, I want to talk about the impact that painting has had on my life. I want to talk about the joy of painting. When I was first learning to paint, like so many years ago, I went into an art gallery with a friend and he asked me, so what do you think of this painting? And I totally had no idea what to say. I felt really, really stupid and I didn't think I should even be in that art gallery. And I'm hoping that things have changed over the years. I'm hoping that most people feel that art is for everyone and that anyone is allowed in an art gallery. I'm hoping it's not just for those elite few people who know about art. Let me know your feedback on that because I love going into art galleries and it is something that I do when I can. There's not a lot of them here in Kimberley. But I don't, uh, even when I go to some of the best galleries in the world, I now have an education about art. I I know my art history, so I'm hoping that that's um, not a necessity for everyone to enjoy art the way I do. Can you imagine me going into an art gallery and not having an opinion about a painting or having anything to say? What a weird concept that is. Uh, but it's true. Art is for everyone. And I never grew up knowing art. We had some original art in our home when I was a child, but art wasn't something we did as a family. We didn't have a lot of art. Um, my mom's best friend was an artist and I know another painter from the town I grew up. Hello, Louise. Thank you for being here. Um, but Art was never a focus. We were a very outdoorsy family as a child and things. We water skied and boated and spent time outside. So going to art galleries was not a part of my world. Uh, but it sure is now. And I love, love going and looking at art. And it has given me so much in my life because not only do I like to look at art, I like to talk about art, obviously, and people still show up every week to watch me talk about art, which I very much appreciate. And uh, yeah, I can't imagine life without it. It has given me so many friends. As I look around my life now, I realize that almost every one of my friends has been brought to me through my art career, through my students are now friends, my customers, my clients, my collectors have become friends. I've had the great fortune of just surrounding myself with artists. And so yeah, the painting part is definitely a huge part of it. But the whole art world, the whole art scene is quite amazing. I've made a new friend named Lynette who will be joining me hopefully next Monday on my 10 minute Monday art tips. And I want to introduce you to her work. She's a fantastic fantastic artist and we've hit it off we've had, been having a great time talking art so it's a whole picture and you know when life gets tough or when I don't know what to do if I'm confused if I'm having a rough go I head to my easel and I pick up the paintbrush because when I don't know anything about anything else I always can fall back on the fact that I know how to paint and I know what to do when I get there with that brush in my hand and that's an amazing thing to have that to fall back on on a regular basis. So yeah, the joy of painting. The thing too is that when you do get to the easel, wow, what a feeling that is. It is the joy of painting, thanks Bob Ross. The time disappears and magic can happen. And sometimes the magic does not happen. Sometimes the painting doesn't work out at all. Sometimes it's just yuck and 
and uh, especially when you're depressed or down and not life isn't going well it doesn't always come out right but sometimes it does and there is something magical about showing up to a blank canvas and being able to create something really nice and there is always that hope sometimes it's not nice let's face it we can't win them all none of us can win them all but there is the potential of creating something really wonderful that really inspires yourself or others. I'm currently working on a commission of a town in Italy and the woman that commissioned me had very special memories of this place and I have special memories of Italy. So wow, I get to show up and do that. And that definitely helps to lift your spirits when it's dull and rainy and gray and summer's not yet here and there's still snow on the ground. Yeah, showing up at the easel can really help. The joy of painting. Um, what else do I want to say? What about the paintings we do get to go see? What What is the best painting you've ever seen in your life? That's a big, big, big ask, isn't it? Um, for me, seeing the Sistine Chapel was pretty phenomenal, life-changing. Michelangelo's kind of got it figured out. And uh, Caravaggio was also pretty spectacular. Monet, he did it for me. Even though I don't paint like Monet, Monet was incredibly abstract in his work so that changed my view on things because here you are thinking you are getting a realistic painting of some water lilies but they are not very realistic so seeing original art in all its forms is super important and can change the way you look at things yeah painting the joy of painting it encompasses a whole world it's not just about you and your easel. It's also about the people who are also in your painting circles. I've had the great pleasure of teaching these last several years. And you know what? There's been a lot going on in the studio that had nothing really to do with the art. The art brought us together. And we created this very safe space for people to come in and we celebrated life's victories and we cried at life's sadnesses and the traumas. My students were here when my mom passed away and I wasn't very um, inspired, but they came and we talked about art and we focused on what we knew how to do. I could talk art. And so for a little while, life in reality could disappear. You know, one of my students' husbands had a lung transplant. I never knew anything about lung transplants until this last year. It was a rough go and everybody's good and fine and thriving. Some of my students, you know, have been through loss of their own. And some of them have done great things and gone on great trips and been in painting in Mexico. And so it is a time when you all can come together with a paintbrush in your hand that you can not only talk about art, but you can also just talk about life and how life can change in an instant. And you've got to just go for it and live, live it. And now... I get to talk about art with you every Monday. How fun is that? And that was one big thing that I never thought I would ever do because coming in front of a camera and talking to a screen and having people potentially looking at me was not in my, my, my agenda at all. And yet now I really enjoy it because I just get to come and talk art. And uh, that's always a good thing, even if it's just to a computer screen. And most weeks I do have people showing up and I really appreciate that. 
I've gotten a lot of feedback saying that people have really gotten a lot out of these 10 minute Mondays. So as long as that keeps happening, I will keep doing them. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. And keep painting, keep looking at art, keep enjoying art, keep listening. And if there's something you would like me to talk about next time, let me know. Next week, hopefully, painter Lynette will be here talking about her abstract art and her upcoming projects, um, if I can figure it out. So uh, until then, have a great week and I'll see you. Bye for now.